At this hour, a suspect is in custody accused of killing a Red Lake tribal police officer. Officer Ryan Bialki died this morning. The 37-year-old is a six-year veteran of the department. He's also a husband and father of four. The reservation is located in northwest Minnesota, about 160 miles from the Canadian border. The police department has a sworn force of 38. WCCO's Jennifer Merrily has been following the developments today. She joins us now. Jen, what have you learned? Well, Amelia, people living in the Red Lake Nation have shared with me the officer was a really nice guy who was kind and funny. They say he was like a dad to many and that he was just doing his job today. This is video of a law enforcement escort from the Red Lake Indian Reservation to Anoka County. Fallen officer Ryan Bialki was transported to the Midwest Medical Examiner's Office. Authorities say Bialki responded to a call of a suicidal man at home on the reservation Tuesday morning, learning children were possibly inside. They say the suspect opened fire. Bialki was struck and died of gunshot wounds at the Indian Health Service Hospital. We're told the suspect fled into the woods and was taken into custody a short time later. The FBI and BCA are assisting Red Lake Police with the investigation. The Red Lake Tribal Council Chairman, Daniel Siki, ordered flags lowered to half staff. And non-essential programs were shut down Tuesday out of respect and honor for the fallen officer. And we're told federal charges are expected in the next few days for the suspected shooter. We'll, of course, share more about this line of duty death as we learn more information, Amelia. All right. Thank you, Jennifer. An accused stalker is in jail tonight after police say he sent an SUV barreling into a family's home. We all could have been out there. Um, it could have been any of my siblings. Jacqueline was one of many community members.